It is Spotlight Sunday, and today I'm talking once again to the fabulous soccer twins, Monica and Sabrina Flores. Last week we heard a little bit about their professional lives, and this week we're going to talk about what it's like to train while in quarantine. Monica and Sabrina, thank you so much for joining me. Hey Emma, thanks for having us again too. Can you tell me a little bit about what it's like on the ground in Spain right now? All public facilities, all restaurants, everything in Spain has been shut down. We haven't been permitted to step foot outside besides um, emergency situations and going to the supermarket. How has that impacted your training? Obviously you're not allowed to be with large groups of people and you're both soccer players so you're naturally always with people. What have you been doing since you can't be on the field right now? So we've kind of had to be a little bit creative. I mean like you said our training is always on a field and or with gym equipment but we're confined to our uh, one-story apartment. We have our living room and our rooftop to train, so we've been just trying to make the best of the situation, uh, think of creative ways to keep our endurance up, our strength up, um, ball skills. and ball skills. And yeah, it's been a challenge, but we're trying our best to make do with the situation. What are your teams telling you? I mean, they don't know how long this is going to last. No one knows how long this, this is going to last. So um, it's just until further notice that we, we don't have um, training or games or a league to play in. What are you learning from this experience? As professional athletes, we're on the go 24-7. And this, this time is forcing us to be a little bit more in the moment. And can you tell me about some of the things you've been doing to keep yourself occupied? There's more time on our hands than usual, but Sabrina and I have been keeping pretty busy from morning to nighttime. Um, we do our workout, we plan our workouts, we do our workouts on the rooftop or inside. We, we love to bake and cook and we've been kind of growing content on my football foodie foodie account. It's an Instagram account called Football Foodie and building that up a little bit and posting what we what we bake now. And you've also been sharing some pretty epic workouts for people to try at home. I mean we love working out and creating cool cool scenarios. That's one thing that also we've learned through this experience is you can you can make a lot out of out of something little that you have. So we we love to also share our ideas to inspire people to do different types of workouts and we've done some different plyometric series some working with the ladder on the rooftop some juggling stuff so all that we've been posting online as well last thing i want to talk about every night in spain it seems like people are clapping from their windows can you tell me a little bit about what's happening there yeah so it's it's truly an un unbelievable experience i mean for 23 hours of the day, everyone is kind of confined to their apartment. Every night at 8 p.m., a huge noise of clapping erupts in, in the entire city and music starts playing and it's just to acknowledge the workers and healthcare providers that are out there. I'm so glad that you guys are able to be together during this time. Keep training hard, keep posting all your creative ideas, and stay safe. Thanks, Thank you, Emma. Emma. Stay safe as well. Until next time, I'm Emma Barnett, and this is Next Gen News.